it Sam at Makes Look Well. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to show you how to do the herringbone technique but this time I'm going to be adding glitter, you can use foils and I also used the gilding flakes. So I have done the herringbone technique in a video before, I think it was about two years ago now and lots of you enjoy this technique. It's a really fun way to use up your scraps so you can really get the most out of your paper pads and basically not waste any of it. So these are just some of the examples I made in a recent Facebook Live craft along. If you haven't and you do use Facebook, head over to Mixed Up Craft and you will be able to see me go live every other day and I'm just sharing different techniques, fun fold cards, 3D projects, all kinds of things. So this is what I made. I didn't get round to actually putting the sentiments on, I was just showing the techniques. So this one here is the herringbone technique. So it's just the pattern, the herringbone pattern. But the one that I've done before in the video is you just lay down all your different stripes right next to each other. But this time what I've done is I've left a gap and then I've filled the gap with glitter. So can you see the glitter running all between here? And that's what I'm going to show you to do today. And you can also fill it with the foils or gilding flakes. But this one here you'll see it's really nice. And this is using one paper pad but it's all scraps that I've used. Cut them into different size strips and then you just add them, you know, stick them onto a sticky sheet or double-sided sticky tape depending on what you have and then I've used the holographic cardstock there and I just think there's very you know there's not much really on this you've used scraps of cardstock die cut a sentiment and that's it and just done some mats and layers but it looks really really special and you've got all that glitter catching the light as well as that holographic cardstock I think it's turned out to be a really nice card so that's that one this one here was using foils so again these were scraps from a paper pad and you'll see there we go, perfect, just hits the light. All that lovely turquoise foil that is stuck in between all of those strips. Again, just finished it with the mats and the layers and then this is a Hello from Bright Rosa. And I've just put it on some foam there just so it's got a little bit of dimension to it. Again, really, really nice. And then this one here, wasn't using any scraps but I just wanted to show you how the gilding flakes work with double-sided um, sticky sheets. So this is just a whole double-sided sticky sheet. I've just peeled it all off and then I just dumped my gilding flakes in gold, copper and silver, rubbed them all over until it covered and you get that really effective, it's almost like a patina effect. It looks lovely and then I've just used a thanks there on that one but again same mats and layers. I just think they look really really fun. So that's what we're going to do. I will also probably have already linked it but I'll link the original herringbone technique video and um, you can check that one out as well because this is I guess a step up from that so this is you know showing you another way to just kind of up that style a little bit more. So what I've got here are some scraps from the Making Memories which is by first edition and that's what I used for this one here. I just have a lot of these scraps. I actually had two of the 12 by 12 paper pads so I end up now with just tons of the scraps from that one so they're great for this technique. And then I've got my card blank, my holographic card and my double sided sticky sheet there. Also just in case anybody's wondering, the hello and today's card's going to be a thank you is from the Bright Rose of Sentiment Words. And then the thanks and the happy birthday, this happy birthday is by Creative Expressions by Lisa Horton and this thanks here is by My Favourite Things I believe. And as always all the links if I can find them will be shared in the description box below. So the double sided sticky sheets I like to use are these ones here and they're by Stick to Anything brand. Now these are all actually scrap pieces that are already on cardstock. I have no more sheets left so what I've got here is this is cardstock so this is just cut to any size you want really but this one is four by six okay and then I have the double sided sticky sheet is just the same as your double sided tape so you imagine this stuck down you peel off the backing and it's sticky on top so I have peeled off the backing and stuck it over this four by six piece of cardstock so now you'll see when I peel this off this is all sticky Okay, so that's what you want to do. So prepare your size card, you know, whatever it is that you want to decorate. We'll use all that later, we don't need that right now. And then you just want to start selecting your scraps and you just want to cut all different size strips. It's entirely up to you. So, and you try to have like some slightly darker ones. You see how I've got the darker blues against the light pink, then I've got red. So 
you know you can see all of that pattern coming together really well if you kind of have a lot of all the same color um, or maybe similar patterns you the, the pattern itself will probably be quite lost so try and think about you know the scraps when you you're cutting them so for example I'll start off with this one here I'll speed a lot of this up but I'll just show you I'm just going to do a variety of widths and lengths so I've got one that's like that and then I've got a slightly thicker one there um, the the actual lengths of them you will end up cutting down so this will all overhang over the the, this piece of cardstock here but when you go and trim them all off you can reuse those pieces again into the card or onto another one so you know there is really hardly any waste with this at all and you can see a lot of this is probably left over from that card so again here I can just cut I like the thinner strips as well because they're quite nice just to you know fit in those little tiny areas towards the end and also the reverse of this has got that lovely blue so you know some of the your scraps you may have are you know from your double-sided paper pads so keep those ones and then this one here oh that's the one I just done I've got that strip there I'll maybe do that in half or just cut another little bit off of it there we go and then this lovely red one here bring this one in so I'm just going to whiz through and get some of these strips ready so I've just come in a little bit close I've got all my strips ready there so I'm going to remove the backing from the sticky sheet okay and then you want to start off with a longer strip okay and you want to Oh, that was already stuck. So there we go. We'll put that one there. <laughs> you want to create four sections. So right now I've got two, and then I'll bring in this one here. And with the original video that I shared for this technique, you would now butt this piece right up to this one here. But what we want to do this time is we want to leave a little, you know, gap in between. Try and be consistent with the gap, although. I'm sure it wouldn't make too much of a difference if they were different, but you want everything to kind of um, be able to line up and keep those nice straight lines. So I've just laid that one there and I've got a gap just there so it's sticky. See, I can pick up the, the card there. And then I'm gonna grab this one here and I'm gonna, again, leave a gap and stick it across there. So now I've got one, two, three, four sections, okay? Next, we wanna start creating our herringbone pattern so this one now I'm going to lay down so it runs parallel with this one here but again I'm keeping a gap all the time okay then I'm going to get this one here and I'm going to lay it again leaving that same gap run it parallel to that one but there's a gap in between there all of these there's that sticky gap and then I can bring in this red one here I'm going to stick it like so and then I could finish with let's do this one here there's a tiny little section I stick that down so now if I bring that up you can see what we've got here all these sticky gaps in between because once we've covered this whole area we're going to dump our glitter all over it or your gilding flakes whatever it is you choose to use and it will fill in all of these sticky areas but all this overhang here when you trim it away you can use this back into the card again okay so next I'll do work on this section here so I'm just trying to make sure that I use a color that's going to show up well or a pattern you know that's going to work well next to you know each one so we've got this stripe here so this will look quite nice running next to this red one pinky one so lay that one down there then I'm going to go for this one with the hearts next to this one here again each time just trying to keep that same kind of gap then I haven't used no I have used them all now I think no I haven't used this rainbow one here so we'll sit this one next to it just there And then this one here. And then I'm going to finish with maybe this greeny coloured one here. It's upside down the bit there, but you wouldn't know anyway because of the pattern, like so. I'm going to turn it around 
and then start on this one here. So Now have gaps all over that ready to put the glitter in but for that if you flip this over I always find it easiest to cut upside down and then just go in and run your scissors along next to the card. But all of these you can now put into another of this style until you're down to the tiniest of pieces and then you probably find that those ones can go into the, into the bin. Put a piece of copy paper underneath this just to catch the glitter. I've just got this silver one here, so and you just want to tip it all over and it will stick obviously all to those little gaps, like so. And then what I like to do is just rub your finger in there just to really make sure that glitter gets into all of the gaps. Tap off the excess and then I like to just go over with a brush and you can just take off anything that may be stuck on the actual paper. If I bring that up, we've got a really lovely background which was done in no time at all. Really, really quick to do. So, you know, if I now didn't use that glitter, you could then sprinkle your gilding flakes on top and rub them in with your finger or you can get your foil sheets, lay the foil sheet down and it will the sticky tape underneath will just pull the foil off and it will attach and that's what will give you these two other effects here. So again that's with the foil and that is the gilding flakes but you can imagine that between you know these gaps here. So I'm just going to tidy all of this up. And okay so I've just die cut my sentiment and just pop some foam adhesive on the back there just because I want it to be a little bit raised and I am going to stick it onto this first. I've already put some foam pads on the back of that as well so it's got a, a little arch to it but that will come out in a moment. So I think I'm going to have this one right through the middle and I've got a little bit just to trim off so I can just turn it over there and just snip that away like so. Actually I'm just going to take, probably could have gone over a little bit more on that side but it's what I'll do is slip those two like that and then I'll just come in a little bit on that one there. It's nice and even. I like that. I like these um, sentiments by Bright Rosa. They're really nice. Okay and then this is going to sit in the centre, like so, and then I'm just going to pop some of my glue onto the back of this piece. And then I'm going to have this as a top folding card, this is 5 by 7 and then I can just sit this one on top to finish my card. Okay, so there's my cards all done, you can see the close-ups there. I just think it looks really, really effective. And again, I'll just show you these ones. That's that lovely foil effect. And that's your gilding flakes. And then that was the first one that I made with the glitter running through. So I hope that's inspired you. And for those of you that tuned into the Facebook Live, you wanted there to be a video on YouTube so you've got somewhere that you can obviously save and you can come to this all the time and also do check out the original one as well if any of you haven't seen that one because it just explains the the I guess the the style and the shape without the glitter so if you just want to get to grips with that first and then you can introduce the glitters and the gilding flakes and everything else as you go so thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and consider subscribing so you get to see more and I'll be back very soon with another video bye